baby, come on, man. Quit For playing. real? Stop. Are you serious? Was anybody there to tell you to stop? No. When you were sucking holy oh, girl. <laughs> me to sit down with Jocelyn while he was away, and I had to think about that long and hard. Deb reminded me that I needed to be really clear with Jocelyn because she's spending time with my daughter. And I'm here to make it clear that laying hands on me like she did in New York will never, ever happen again. You know, in the past minutes that I had with my little maid, there would be a little ratchet, but now I'm on a different level. So she could be negative like she always is, but I'm just gonna sit there like a lady and have a conversation with the maid, turning to the porn star. How are you? What's up, ass? A conversation is two people talking, not one person talking. So maybe if you learn how to speak back to me, we'll learn how learn to communicate. how to speak. I know how to speak. You're the one with the issue with speaking. What's my issue? Your issue is that you don't know how to communicate. You like to hit. You know, I respect that. You are able to feel however you want to feel. No, I feel that way because that's what you've shown me. Oh, OK. How do how I show you that? If you came here to play games, that's what I'm not going to do. I don't play any games. So the only reason I'm here is because Stevie said you wanted to apologize to me. You feel like you need an apology? I didn't say I wanted an apology from you. Oh. I don't want from you, to be honest. OK. Well, I never told him I was going to apologize about nothing. So why did you think he wanted us to meet? I thought he wanted us to meet about Eva. About, about her Eva? coming over the house and, She's been know, coming over to the house. My point. So... I don't know what else you want me to say. I like, want to, I want to ask you. I, I do have one thing to ask you. Why are you so angry? Angry? Why do you feel it necessary to lash out and hit when I'm in your presence? I haven't done anything to you. You haven't done anything to me? No. You're full of When did I put my hands on you? The whole world saw this woman attack me in New York. Now she wants to sit here with this crooked ass Carol Brady helmet wig, acting like nothing ever happened? If you want to be real and have a conversation, let's be real okay. and have a conversation. When do you feel like it's right for you to go around doing this and doing that and the other? Doing She's what? So what did I do to She's you? A what did I do She's to you? I'm telling you what you done. Why this name? Well, you don't even know me like that. And you don't know me like that either. Exactly, and I don't call you names. The only yes, name that do. I ever called you was a maid, because you do yes, clean you houses. Yes, you do. I'm a business owner. Girl, what everybody know you clean houses. What is your point? My point is, you can't feel like you can say whatever you want, and then it's not going to be any consequences. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you, because you ain't got no man. You just did a point at 42. Going around the world holding a pole on stage. Oh, oh, I Jocelyn, shut the f up. You better be glad I'm a changed woman, because I would go across this stable and go upside your head with all that smack you talking about me. But you know what? I'm going to let her throw her tantrum, and I'm going to sit here like a lady, looking at her, making a fool of herself. Sit your ass, bitch. I am sitting down. Good. I am and sitting down. you can down. stay sitting down. Yeah, I will. Stay your stupid ass sitting the f Bye. down. I, yes, goodbye. See you later, flat ass. See you later, flatty. <laughs> What's going on? I heard you been looking for me. I told Carly to go ahead and send the bitch Don Penny to the studio so she can really see how to make some music. I know the bitch been around town stalking me. She wanted to be my friend. But you know what, baby? Dream on, because Jocelyn Hernandez is a real superstar. Unlike you, baby girl, because the only thing and the only place where you could perform at is at your uncle's barbecue, bitch. I hit you up a couple times since I've been here, you know, since we always kick it when I come to Atlanta. Twice. And you came out to my events and stuff like this, so I was thinking yeah. we could kick it or chop it up, get something to eat. Chanelica can try to play me all she wants, but I'm not the one. And I came here to remind her just how close we were. What I've been seeing and hearing, we used to hang out in Miami. We never really hung out in Miami. Oh, we did. In the strip club. 
girl. So we went out in Miami before together? Shut up. You no, but that's not my well. name, though. That's, that's that my is your name. name. That's my real name? We don't know what's your real name. Do you know your real you, you name? You don't know me like that. My name is Jocelyn. I do know you like that, because I what dropped you, know you off with your mama house and for yeah. a lot of days. Plenty of times. When we were 17, when we were 17 one don't time. Do Come on, you done lost count. Shanelica and I were more than acquaintances at the strip club. We were friends. We hung out. She even drunk from the fountain of dime while her husband watched. And if you not going to tell it, I damn sure am. I been hearing what you been saying around town what, too. What did I say about you though? You said we shared a locker. We shared a locker. We never hung that. No, we, we didn't hung... share a locker. We made money together, we bitch. Made... I yes, gave I you said rides that. Home. I said that. I don't understand why you're so upset. I'm not upset. You're my bitch. No, you're my trick. Let's get it right. right. You know what? And I got right. more money to you give pay you. Me. Look, you pay me. I give hoes like your money. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You're my bitch. I pay all my hoes. I brought dollars for this bitch that I'm paying. You know why? Because I want to show this bitch that she ain't going to never amount to nothing but these dollars on the floor. At the strip you, club, you don't you even throw $100. You don't even Everybody throw $100 when you go to the strip club. I don't know why club. you so mad. You don't even throw $100. You might bitch. You respect the hustle that you bitch. came from. And you my bitch. bitch. Matter of fact, Whatever. goodbye. You said what you had to say? Bitch, please. Guess what? Everybody Four knows you. And it's all you done came to. Four years and it's you came up with. Four years and it's you yeah, ain't get this out of, you bitch out of here. Yeah. That's right, bitch. You know what it is. Yeah, get this bitch out of here. I'll run you out of Atlanta like Sandra did in Miami, bitch. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You know what's up with me, bitch. Yeah, bitch. You know what's up with me, bitch. Get out, bitch. Get out, bitch. Get the fuck out, ho. Get this bitch out of here. Get that purse out of here, raggedy ass, ho. She left her money, though. I don't know why she did that. She knows she needed. it. Now, speaking of the end of part one, Jocelyn was just about to reveal something about Mimi. Let's take a look at what you said on the After Party Live. It's obvious you and Mimi will forever be tied to each other. Is there any chance for a resolve? Mm. She my bitch, too. <laughs> <laughs> Just know that. And that should definitely answer your question. Next. All right, Jocelyn, do you care to elaborate on what you were talking about? I'm going to tell you like this. Me and my had her in our bed in my condo, and we wait, hit wait, that together. Wait. So... Oh. While she's doing all that, she needs to go ahead and say that. You, yes. you and Stevie yes. had Mimi in yeah, your Yeah, I ate the, ate the all night, and it's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good for... It's, I it's about. good for... No, I don't know why she act like we're such enemies <laughs> when we was in the condo kicking it. <laughs> don't forget. And now you act like Can you respond we hate to this, each other Mimi? so much. I don't give a about what she says. I don't give a about her. You should have, but you should take, take that raggedy ass wig off your head. Says. She oh, never responds. Just like she didn't respond. And hey, you better not lie. Is this real? I will, is this true, Stevie? I, I will. You know how them nights be foggy exactly. and all. Exactly. He always forget. He knows it. She knows it. I just love my life. You just be quiet, because you just be lying. You hold it in for a while. Why is that? Because, you know, I... I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I, I got respect. I got respect for Mimi, but she doesn't understand that. And so she made me not act like I don't have any for her, because the way she acts towards me, it's not that deep. Bitch, we we, 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 and then your man was there. No, we didn't. And he I did too, and I had to beg your man we to did. you. We did. See, not, we did. No, he he went asleep. You. He fell asleep. He Why is he still here? You. He wouldn't sleep with me, it but he don't with you. It sounds like that's a bit so of a minute. Mad. It wasn't a threesome, though. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to both of y'all. I don't care. You enjoyed each other. Yeah. Mimi, you are confirming you guys did have a threesome type. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She does what she does very well. All right, now, Jocelyn, when did this happen? Was it a one-time thing? It was a one-time thing. It was one time. It was a wild night. Erin, did you know? <laughs> did you know about this threesome? I absolutely did. You did? Okay. I did. All right. Did Where know. were you that night, though? I mean, we were looking for you, too. I wasn't called. Oh. So, Jocelyn, would you have another threesome with Mimi? Girl, I could never say never. I don't know. <laughs> What I do know is that... Look, Stevie praying for this <laughs> Probably so. But what I do know is that Mimi's an awesome person. Thank you. Yeah. I know I talk a lot of uh, Mimi, I'll be the bigger person. You did what you did. You made a mistake, but you are a great mother. And I will never take that yes. away from you. Aww. Yes, Jocelyn! But I've respected you from day one. So I apologize for everything from then to now. That's big. Yeah. Yo, yeah. I'm going to... I mean, this, I'm is, this is a I big mean, deal. Is that of you that is open to that apology, Mimi? Absolutely. I'm always open to apology if it's sincere. Absolutely. I don't have an issue with you, Jocelyn. And, and I want to let you know that I'm not mad that you guys are together. I'm not. You should have because he's a f headache. I know he's a headache, honey. That, that's why I said. I know you, you know. Exactly. Okay. That's your, now, you got that. He's a big Listen, ass headache. I feel like we got somewhere. Yes. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Congrats to you guys for being 
ladies. I just feel like, you know, it's, it's looking forward to being a great night for me tonight. All right, all right, all right. I got you guys. One time for Jocelyn and Erica! Oh, God. Thank you, everybody. Great. This will not be happening without my husband. I love everybody. Thank you. We all go again, okay? That is ill. Give yourself a round of applause. You're making her cry. Hold up, hold up. Jocelyn, I just want to thank you because when you ask God for something, he gives it to you. Okay, and I, me and Stevie were going through such a rough time and he sent you and you came in between us and you helped our situation yes. because I have my friend back. And I want you to know, this is my friend. I don't want Stevie. I don't, I don't lust after Stevie. He's my daughter's father, and I respect your relationship. You are his wife, you're his family. That means you are my family. And I want us to be cool. You know what I'm saying? That's a wrap. I don't know what the hell is wrong with my drunk business partner, Stevie, but thank God I have other business opportunities to keep me busy. I'm here at my photo shoot for my new book, Yes, Mimi Faust is an Author. Yes, work, Mimi. Dawn is here to make sure things run smoothly. I figured since she kept me sane during the whole sex tape fiasco, it'd be kind of cool to keep her around. Stick those boobs out, mommy. Girl. Showing a little something, something. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Ah. You look great. I'm here celebrating my freedom from this lying, cheating ass mother and here he comes walking through the door. I haven't spoken to Nico in months, so for a minute, I'm speechless. You didn't think I'd find out about the photo session? I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. You didn't call me. I didn't, why do I have to call you because I have a photo shoot? You got amnesia, you forgot how this went down? So I got 25% of the book for what? You have 25% of what? Of the book. Mimi and I are done as a couple, but we got a business relationship together. This is my life, and I don't think that you deserve 25% of anything. I brought this book deal to the table, and in return, she signed 25% away to me. We got a three book deal, Mimi, and I'm here to collect. You can't put out an e-book without me being involved. You need to read your contract. You want to take me to court, then that's what you need to do. I may have signed a contract when I wasn't in my right mind, but I can see perfectly clear now. Nico will never, ever have the rights to my life story, ever. Why are you so pressed to get 25% of my thing? I orchestrated it. You were in the barbershop and found your writer. I Thank you so it. much. I Thank control. you so you much see the, for you, that, you know what this chair is? Thank you, Nico. This chair is called the director's that chair. That is a makeup chair, you right. idiot. I direct You it. didn't direct Do I wreck something in your own life? And stop right. trying to eat off me. Wait, wait, wait. I want you guys to work out things. There's nothing to work out. We're trying to get out. some money here. You mad because you, you went out with each other no more? Mad? I'm still Am cool I... with you. I ain't got no problem. I don't have no problem with you. I don't have a problem with you. I just don't with you and I don't want to do business with you. We do business. Have, no, we're not. You're tied. You're tattooed I'm on me for the attached. rest of your life. I'm not we got tattooed a sex tape. to that. That's over with. Okay, I'm moving I, it's forward. Over. I am too. I don't have a plan yet, but best believe I'm going to find my way out of this shiesty deal with Nico. You, you can leave because you, need, you, need you interrupt me and up my work. vibe. Go do a book with your wife. That's what you do. Thank you, boo. Out of here. Hi. Mimi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Can't say it's so nice, but we meet. Yeah, it's mutual. I came here to see Jessica Dime walk in Prima Donna's show. I had no idea that Nico would be here with his wife. After two years of keeping her a secret, now he wants to bring her to an event as his date? This is ridiculous. You're claiming her now. No, no, it's Because for two me. years, he wasn't claiming you. No, we're not doing that's this, not, you know. not, Don't tell me what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. No, you're going to get your finger no, out of my no, face no. because that's I not over that. Get your hand out of my face. So here's the Mimi I've been hearing so much about. 
already angry and so ready to fight. I guess she forgot that she's the one who cheated with my husband, <laughs> but it's all good. You're so emotional. I'm emotional, sweetie. Because, because yeah. Yeah. you did a you, sex tape with a man no, that's that not you right, found I'm out that off was married. You should do that because that was your husband. Your friends don't know the truth about you. But you do. You planned this. You two planned this together. But you know me. And you're listening to this Put the battery reason. in your back. No, he didn't put a battery in my Put back. Your hand out, out of my face. Make me. You're, stop. Stop. I, I stop. Will. You're gonna get your hand stop. out of my face. Stop. The minute I saw Nico walk in with Margo, I knew that I should have grabbed Mimi and probably exited stage left because I knew that these two women could not coexist in the same building. Did she tell you that I mean, the both of them leaked this tape together? No, I'm not here defending no. him. She wants to run away because you're a coward. Be a woman. Own up to it. I, I'm Let's a go. full woman. No, I'm Margo, stop woman. putting your hand in her you face. Teddy, no, own up to it. This is all a big mess. Mimi was with a man that she didn't know was married for two years, and Margot found out her husband did a sex tape with another woman. Both of them should really be slapping the out of Nico instead of fighting each other. You with deserve your husband a for hand two years. In your he lied to me and he lied to you. You didn't lie to me. Things is a little uncomfortable right now. I got these two women arguing about me, like I'm not even standing here. But I know better to not get in between their situation. So it's best to let them get it off their chest. Nico does dumb but I know that he's not a slick ass to leak a sex tape he is. without you knowing behind your back. You did it together. That's what he told you? Yeah, you did I it think together. what you're mad about is you're not reaping you the benefits off the sex tape. I think you are. think a lot of things because you're a liar. is lying to you. You're this is not being resolved. You dragged his name made it I look did. like he leaked a tape behind I did your that. back like you didn't know. I did that. Yeah, you want to do I something, do it in order. But don't do it Why and then put the blame on somebody else the because you're too much of a coward. You're a coward. Goodbye, bitch. You're stupid with a dumb ass putting a battery in your back. You got the nerve to call me a coward? It's okay, baby. I screwed your husband for two years, took the sex tape money straight to the bank while you were chained somewhere in Nico's basement. Now you want to pin some shit on me because you're too afraid to believe that your husband is a complete scumbag lowlife that everybody knows he is? Who's the coward now, boo-boo? Arian, is it? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> this is the first time I'm ever meeting Mimi. He's a clown. He knew she was going to be here. He didn't know. Him and Mimi masterminded this whole thing together. I'm just down he here. He told you this? Nico told me that Mimi's a mom, and he said that he had to take the hit for the both of them. You believe She's a that? mom? Why shouldn't I believe it? You think that he really just leaked a tape behind her back and she had nothing to do with I it? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I've had my doubts from the beginning. I've asked Mimi a thousand times, and she swears that she just made a tape with her boyfriend that got into the wrong hands. And then she decided to get on board for the money. They did it together. We can agree you don't know your friend. I trust that she's telling me the truth. And I and trust that like, Nico's telling me the truth. It was that she was upset with Stevie J and Jocelyn, and she was jealous. He's telling you one thing, she's telling me something. Bottom line is Mimi knows she doesn't have to lie to me. As her friend, I will love her no matter what bad decision she makes. So I gotta believe that she's been telling me the truth, and Nico has been telling his wife what she needs to hear. Will it ever come out? It'll come out if come she out. tells the truth. So what if she tells the truth and it's still what she said? I just don't think that you guys know your friend like you think you do. Hey. What's going on? How are you? What's up? I am tired of all the threats, the lies, the gossip about this sex tape. This has to stop once and for all. So I asked the father of my child to come over for a long overdue conversation. I should have had this conversation with you a while ago. I didn't because honestly, you and I were not in a great place. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't truthful with you. Get to it, man. The tape. Um, Nico and I did make the tape for our own personal viewing pleasure. He thought it would be a good idea to shop said tape. Mm, keep going, Ma. As far as the whole leaking of the tape, yes, I helped him come up with that. As far as the whole bag and the tape getting stolen out of the bag, X, Y, and Z. Yeah, I'm listening. This whole idea was his plan from the start even down to let me be the bad guy. You play the victim. Now, I was an asshole and a fool for going along with this plan. So, why did you go along with it? That's a good question. I don't have an answer. 
Mimi is hitting me with a lot right now. It's hard for me to take it all in. She's lied to everybody for over a year, but how you gonna lie to me? I was just tired of living like that, keeping up that lie. Like, I couldn't sleep at night. I'm sitting here protecting this man who don't give a about me. You're grown. You can make whatever decisions you want to make. But we got a baby. We got, right. we got a daughter together. I got to make better decisions. I'm not going to continue to be myself. I don't want to hear that, that no, pity party. It's not you know a pity party. You know what I want to hear? That you learned a lesson from this. favorite right now, Nico. Why do you keep pursuing this? Is it all about the money with you? Why not let it go and move on to a healthier life? Now, let's, let's go back to the beginning of this. I got the manuscript already. The, the book is already done. Did Mimi write this? No. The guy that I put her with to write the book, yes. you hear me? Yes. Percy. And have you written the book? No, but I have right, you so write shut the, the book. Man. Now, Jocelyn, let me ask you, 25%, do you feel like that's too much? She shouldn't get him Absolutely. He ain't do nothing. Who the is he? Absolutely. And guess what? She should have known he was full of Just look at him. He looked like <laughs> And his bitch look like a <laughs> right now. <laughs> so don't say nothing. Why are you so mad? You need to lose weight. Get, fix your grill. Why are you so Sucker. mad? Because you, you suck more than your bitch. You still. should come to a yoga class. Nico, let me ask you a question. Do you think you crossed the line by telling Stevie his daughter was going to eat off of that book? Of course not. What about my daughter can would be calling you daddy? You what I've helped My daughter would with? never call you daddy. Hold up! There's a bigger picture up in here. So now I'm pissed off. There's a baby involved in it. Hallelujah. And you from the streets, you know what time it is. Yeah, listen. You don't mess with the kids. Deb, you ain't got nothing to do with this. It ain't, this ain't about the kids. Listen, this ain't, listen. This ain't, listen. Don't make a baby. Relax, You're 45, man. you ain't got Relax, no kids. Man. But you are undercover. Because a that's 45 will have kids. Don't play me. You ain't got no kids. They got kids. He got kids. Uh, Kurt got kids. What your kids have? Go make some kids. Stop trying to make somebody else call you daddy. Because guess what? You don't no it because if you you have some babies. Why are you mad? How about uh -huh. that? Yo, hold up, Ma. Hold up, Ma. He was sharing with a dude, a uh, twin bed. Ain't a twin bed. That's a, hey, that's all speculation. That's, 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 that's not true. true. That's ridiculous. All right, let's calm down. It's not funny. Bottom line, I, put, I took it from zero to 100. You uh, took who? Yeah, I, I took helped. you. Who no, were no. you before you listen, got on this listen. show? Let's be clear. When I took you, shut your ass up. You're a clown, man. You don't want no problems in you're the streets. Listen, no way. I, 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 I challenge you, you to a fight. I challenge you to a fight. I challenge you to a fight. You turned it down. I'll fight you right now. I'll fight you right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. I don't even know you. Excuse me. Get your ass on my face. Make sure my husband is okay. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. I got you. I got you. Get your ass on my face. You can't do that about a kid. Stevie. Ready. Stevie. Stay your ass on that sofa. I'm on a mission to get my artists in the studio with the hottest producers in town. Jazzy Faye has worked with everybody who is anybody. I've known Jazzy for years, and we're all here on the strength of my relationship with him. As a manager, I need to get the people I represent seen and heard by the best. So Jazzy, I started a management company, MF Management. Is that mother management? What is that? <laughs> Sometimes it might be that. I love it. Jessica is an artist. She raps. I know you can produce the sound. I know that she's talented. What makes you different than everybody else? I'm from Memphis. Oh. M You're from Memphis? M M Drink to it. And I'm honored to have a chance to work with you. Well, if you had somebody to compare yourself to, who would you compare yourself to? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I like her already. If I had any doubts about Mimi's managing skills, they have been laid to rest. She only been hustling for me for a few days, and I'm already in the studio with Jazzy Faye. And he likes me, so I think we're off to a good start. I love the confidence now. I want to hear that music. Definitely need to hear it. What's that? Jazz time. Tiffany. Hello. So this must be Tiffany Fox. I remember Mimi mentioning her to me, but I don't know this bitch, and I don't know why she's rolling up in my meeting. This a joint session? She invited me. 
Mimi asked me to come to the studio, so here I am. And here's Jessica Don with an attitude, and I've only been here for two seconds. Why did you invite her? Because this is my session. I wanted both of you to meet, since I'm working with you and I'm dealing with you. But I already you. told you that you didn't have time to work with nobody else. Yeah, but, but me. let me tell you something. No She's not managing me. No I'm, I'm, I'm not talking her. to but you. But I'm talking to you. You can't talk to me. But I'm talking to you. And put your you, hands down while you talking to me. Respect. What is the issue? I don't even know The you. issue is why are you in my session? You this need is, to have that this conversation with Mimi. I'm trying to have a conversation with Mimi. Now that you keep butting in the conversation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm talking to your ass. Hold on, please. No, I'm talking to you, bitch. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. I'm talking to you. All I was trying to do was get both these girls in front of Jazzy Faye. He cleared his schedule. He gave me one hour. So here we are, and people start acting a fool. And I'm the one that's going to have to go and clean this up with Jazzy when this is all done. Y'all need to respect the building. You know what? Bye. Let me get back to going to get my coin. You guys have a nice session. Mimi, the future man Bye. managing me is definitely obsolete. The and that ass is, is obsolete. Is Bye. Looking for the year old ho. Mimi, it's a real rookie move to bring two artists in the same meeting and not tell them what's going on. I had doubts about Mimi being my manager, to be quite honest with you, but now this definitely sealed the deal. Mimi, I'm out. Let's turn on disrespectful. With disrespectful, that's what you've been. So, I mean. And I am. I, I don't have no desire to hear your. <laughs> I'm good. Jazzy Faye may never work with these two women. He may not even work with me again. That is the last thing I wanted, and frankly, I'm a little embarrassed. If you gonna act like that in my building, I mean that's what it is. Okay, so somebody gonna I walk in. Somebody I gonna walk in. I represent. I represent excellence. I represent. You don't know. Hey man, it's all good. You wouldn't be having it. It's all good. You baby. wouldn't let nobody else walk good. in your session. You don't know. It's all good. Now. But you're talking while I'm talking, so therefore you can't hear. Okay, but I'm letting you know. No, but you don't have to let me know nothing in my building. I'm sitting here completely dumbfounded. Jessica just keeps yapping and yapping away. It's like she's throwing salt on the wound. Girl, shut up. So excuse yourself. Mother management. It's been really cool, honestly, working with Stevie. Like the song that we got done is turning out hot. The reason why I haven't let Mimi manage me is because I already have management and Brooke has done well for me. So I felt like it was appropriate that I let her know that I've been in the studio with Stevie J. He was professional. He was professional. He apologized immediately. Like I didn't even have to pull teeth about it. And yeah. then after that, we immediately got in the studio, which means he's serious. Exactly. Do you see who that is over there? That's the girl Tiffany Fox, the one who um, Mimi had me in the studio with, with Jay-Z. The one who talked too damn much, had her hands all up talking to me. I'm in a club, you know, bringing Don up to speed about my dealings with Mimi, and I look over and see this chick Tiffany Fox. I haven't seen this woman since my little argument with her at Jazzy Faye's studio. They got me kicked out on my ass. I just really think, like, you and her need to have a real sit down. I need to go over there and holler at her. You know I'm a real bitch, I step to bitches every day. I feel like I need to go over here and talk to her cause me and Miss Fox still got some things to talk about. I'm not trying to start any mess. We're in a public place and I know how to play it cool. We need to hurry up and make sure that the song is done, get mixed and mastered. Right. He back with Puff, That's so he's good. in a good space. So everything's been kind of cool. <laughs> Ew. So we gonna try this again? We can, why don't we? Hold on. <laughs> yes. My last encounter with Jessica was very classless and unprofessional, and I'm really not looking for any more of that. I saw you over here, so I was like, let me go and talk to her, because last time we met, it was just a little too turned up. When I first came in, you just was so rah-rah for no apparent reason. I'm trying to talk to Mimi, and then you started talking over me. Just for future reference, I'm working with Jazzy. I'm working with Stevie. That was all that I wanted to do, and we just did that. You been working with Stevie? Yeah, we just okay. did a song together. Mimi hooked this up. Mimi put it together. That was the whole thing. The best Mimi could do for me was connect me with Jermaine's junior producer, 
but this girl Tiffany Fox is back working with Jazzy Faye and working with Stevie J. Since day one, I've been asking Mimi to get me in the studio with Stevie, and she never gave me a straight answer. Mimi is not being honest. I didn't even know you were still working with her. I didn't know you was meeting up with Stevie, so mm -hmm. this is all new to me. Okay, well, Makes no so sense. she's clearly not having the conversations with you right. that she's having she's with me. She's being flawed. She's telling me that Stevie doesn't want to work with you. She's telling me that Jazzy is not interested in working with you because that was just a polishness that you have to have. And that's exactly what Stevie said. That's what Mimi is saying, is that she's just too rough around the edges as far as her professionalism. So not only is Mimi hooking up Tiffany with everybody I'm supposed to be working with, but she talking about me behind my back to another artist? You cannot be coming in the studio and you know rah, because, rah, 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 because I am very professional. I get where but I'm, I'm getting. Saying, where, that's why I have. Where are you now? That's Same place as me. No, I'm not. Yes, no, you are. I'm on stadium me stage. Too. Who I stadium performed, stage I performed in front of 200,000 people. I get paid to stage. have my clothes on on stage. That's you why I'm having me thirsty, just like I, everybody else. But trying you to get don't give a f about Stevie. But you don't give a f about Stevie. I got enough money to pay for whatever for this I want to pay for. Set up a performance for Dime. So this is kind of like an introduction to her. Welcome to Atlanta. Just to get her feet wet a little bit. Tonight is a big night for me in MF management and for Dime. It's the first time I'm putting her in front of an audience. We've had some bumps in the road and she still hasn't signed the management deal. But I think tonight is going to be the start of something amazing. I want to get her where she needs to be. It's crazy though because I've had so many people try to deter me from her, and I'm like, no, like, it's like something who? about her. Stevie, oh, for one. Stevie. No, girl. Oh. <laughs> where you come from? You haven't showed up. I'm gonna be here for you. I'm rocking with I you. I appreciate you. See, Mimi asked me to come to this performance tonight. Curiosity killed the good guy, so I came. See, I know all about dying peace, dollar menu assets, but I ain't never heard her perform before. You know, the good guy only works with the best. Maybe I got a track for it, and maybe I don't. I ain't betting on it yet. Thank you for coming, even though I know you're not fond of her. I'm only here to support you. I know. I just set up this little performance for Dime. I want her to, you know, just perform in front of an audience. Yeah. And I know you told me not to do it, but guess what? I'm going to rock with it until she proved me otherwise. Is she going to sign a contract? Well, that's what I'm hoping for. Right about now, live on the stage, Jessica Dime. Tonight. Mimi set up this performance for me, and I'm gonna perform, honey. But this is the last thing Mimi is gonna do for me as my so called manager. Cause see, nobody's gonna be going around talking trash, playing with my career, and think they're gonna get away with it. So tonight, Mimi, I got a special goodbye present for you. I got a surprise for y'all. What I got, y'all? Y'all want the surprise? I don't know. Can I get my girl Margo to the stage ready to start a war? Wait, what? Let's do it. This is my girl Margo, y'all. We gonna perform Margo's wow. single. Looking at this mohawk wearing Amazon standing on the stage of my show, up there with my artists, I have no words. All I know is that Dime has lost her entire mind. Incredible. <laughs> oh my God. What the hey. hell? How are you? I'm so glad to see you here. I know. I actually came here to talk to you. Really? Yeah. I want to know, like, what happened? What transpired the other day between you and Dad? Well, 
I'm surprised you're even asking that question because it's like my personal business. I don't really know Kalina that well, but when I found out she got split with my mother-in-law, Deb, I damn near lost my mind. Walker and I are very protective when it comes to our family. So when I heard that someone disrespected Deb, I want to know what's up. That's my mother. Someone disrespects her. I want to know. There's three sides to every story. That's why I'm asking you for your side. I felt like I was asking the proper questions. What can you do for my career now? Because this is what I'm bringing to the table. That's what you ask any manager. And she got a little upset when I asked her that. And I was just trying to figure out where I was coming from. Uh -huh. OK, it totally went left. It just blew up from there. And she started coming for my life. And so that's what happened. And I don't feel like me and you should be sitting here in the middle of the club at another business that I am talking about. No, it's not about a business. We all know that we are all businesswomen. I'm not coming here asking about your career, because I could care. Yes, you are, because I no, said and talked to Ms. Deb about my career. I didn't right, talk to Ms. Deb about Right, but you got your personal. mouth crazy. What did I say to Ms. Deb? Asking her who she managed now. And That's what I would ask any manager, Tammy. Last time I checked, a conversation between Deb and I is between Deb and I. Now Deb is sending her minion, Tammy, here to check me. Who Tammy thinks she is? Why was you there in the first place then if you didn't know who what she do you was mean? and what she brought to the what game? What do you mean? It wasn't about me not knowing who she was. Okay. I know who she is. That's I just got off a world tour. That's no, why, was why I was there when was, was because, you, you know what? What you mean on a world tour? With Diddy, you had dirty money. What do you oh, mean? When was yeah, that? bitch, like, when was not that? too far ago. These ladies are going in right now. And from what it sounds like, Kalina might have tried to go in on Deb too. And I'm not at all surprised that Tammy is here defending her mother-in-law. Because that's what you're supposed to do. That's family. First of all, I'm going to need you to bring that back down. Bitch, I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you. You told me what? I'm telling you. Bitch, 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 for, okay? Tammy didn't like the way I spoke to her mother-in-law Deb, so she up in here creating a scene. But what I really want to know, why the f is she all up in here throwing my f shade at my personal finances? Meanwhile, I know the only person that knows about me and Tony's money problems is Rashida. I ain't no punk, bitch. No, I'm you a broke bitch. You punk, bitch. You're a broke bitch. You don't know about me, huh? I know Kalina is broke right now. The streets talk. Everyone knows that. She's been broke. It's not a big deal. We all hit our rough patches. But when you disrespect my family, I'm going to put you back in your place, Kalina. I will hustle on the mother block and get my mother money, ho. And you're still broke. And you're still broke. You, and the bitch, I'm trying to tell you, bitch, the day you swing, the day you swing, bitch, is going to be the last one. So I sent Kalina to talk to Deb about managing her. Tammy rolls up to the club defending her mother-in-law, and now it looks like her and Kalina about to throw down up in here. Let's go. She's still broke, though. Coming here asking about my mother business. Now, both of these girls are my friends, so I'm really just trying to mind my business and defuse the situation, because it's really, really getting ugly up in here. What I want to know is, why did you feel that it was the need to disrespect my mother-in-law? What was all that, yo? Tammy, bitch ass, come up in here talking some dumb <laughs> Yo, I want to know what the you said to my mother-in-law. <laughs> from that meeting. All from a Meeting with Deb, Miss Deb and Tammy, they can all I already knew she was a snake bitch the day that she called me and dogged you out on the phone. Exactly. What the hell did she say about me? You being a bum bitch and you was on her bus handing out CDs. Oh. Oh, yeah, really? when she was on tour. A lot of little messy yeah. that she said. Kalina called me once before talking reckless about Rashida. I felt as though I need to let Rashida know she's not a fake ass friend, she's a snake ass friend. So it's like that. I've only been trying to hold Kalina down, and so for her to be talking about me sideways is some real bull. It's crazy because these bitches trying to come for your life on your way up, but guess what? I'm gonna calm down because I feel like I done lost all my class with that hood rat bitch. I've been nothing but a real, loyal, good friend to Kalina. And I hate. To be here. No. You think you know someone, you're supportive of them, you think they're your friend, you let them into your life, and then they turn around and stab your ass in the back like this? I ain't even gonna go back in there. That I'm gonna let this whole thing die down. Oh. Hello, hello. I said that. Oh. Hey. I invited Kalina to come to the studio session because after what happened between her and Tammy at the club, bitch, we need to talk and get some clarity. But on top of all that, I need to know what's up with me and Herb's friendship. What the hell was the craziness? Everything just went left like super fast. Me and you sitting there talking about life, husband, and then all of a sudden, Tammy come out of nowhere talking something that really ain't none of Tammy's business. And when it all popped off, I turned around, I ain't see Rashida no more, so I'm like, Rashida left me. So Rashida left the building with Project Tammy and never came back. 
To me, where I'm from, that's taking sides. And I feel some type of way about it. Shouldn't my friend, Rashida, come and check on me after everything that went down? We were talking, I was trying to calm her down. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I understood where she was coming from. She was feeling like, you know, Tammy's feelings, I don't even know Tammy. I talked to Tammy all but two times on the mother phone in my whole life. Speaking of y'all talking, Tammy mentioned, to me she just kind of was like, well, I knew Kalina was shady when she called me talking about you. And I'm like, huh, really? Really? Yeah, she said you came on her tour bus, you was a bum bitch, a struggling artist, passing out your CDs. And I'm like, what? Hold up, first of so, all. So I'm a bum bitch passing out CDs on the bus, Kalina? No, I didn't really? say a bum bitch. What I said wow. was, no, no. That's no, up. what I said was, Rashida just was passing out my CDs on my tour bus. Rashida worrying about me talking trash about her, but obviously she's been talking trash about me too. Miss Deb and Tammy is tossing around all kind of little up comments about me and Tony Money. That information had to come from Rashida because she was the only one that I felt comfortable with telling that to. My friend of 10 plus years was talking about my finances to Tammy. The only I'm thing you can to. say I said about you was I hope they don't go get no big ass house and can't pay their bills, but bitch, bitch why you even hold say on. That? Didn't I, I said one one thing about you, Kalina, you laid that You drug so, me through the mud, no, and that was some real bullshit. You should have never, ever you said anything you. about me to anybody. I can't. You can't I what? I can't with this bullshit. That's okay, what I'm well, saying. Okay, well, then bye. Why are you crying? Well, look, you know why, why I'm crying? Why are you crying? so emotional? Because I really want to hit you in your forehead for Oh, the, do you? Uh, oh, really? Y'all awful. Okay. You can kiss my ass. Matter of fact, you can't kiss my ass. You put your head between your own legs and suit your own self. Go pay your bills, Kalina. Bye, babe. I'm really not a vindictive bitch by nature. I'm just a mother who wants her family back together, and that means KD has to go. KD wants proof. I'm gonna give her some. Hey, what's up, forever? What's up? I ain't seen Cena since the last time she kind of showed her ass at the studio session or whatnot. I had to get up out of there because, man, it was getting kind of hectic. The kids aren't here. They're at the sitters. Everybody's gone. It's just me and you. Just wanted to talk. Hold on, I got something else for you. Hold on. I'm starting to feel like, okay, maybe I need to get up off this sofa and get my ass back to the crib, KD. <laughs> this little voice is in the back of my head like, y'all get your ass up and go. Run, run, my son, run. So, what are you down here doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I wanted to put on something more comfortable. Mm. Ah. Cena come down like she doing a full spread for Victoria's Secret. Okay, I'm gonna figure out what you got going on. Oh, you want me to take yeah. it off? I ain't, them your words, not mine. I'll show you. Cena. Show you. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Jock is like a little puppy. All he needs is a little treat and he'll come running. Look at all the way up. Look at that. It's only so much that a man could take. You want a little chocolate dip toe? You want to dip a little toe? You want to dip a little toe? <laughs> I want to dip a little touch. Mm. 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 Hey, Katie. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll strap up. You ready? Here we go. Babe. Yeah, what's up, babe? What's good? What's up? After Cena showed up with her nonsense, I believe I have every right to be mad at Jock. But this time, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to kill him with kindness and remind him of everything he's got right here at home. I was just kind of in the mood for us to do something a little bit different tonight. Like what? I'm going to tie you up. <laughs> you want to tie me up? Mm-hmm. I'm ready to try new things, you know what I mean? But <laughs> just for the record, this is the first time that Jock has ever been strapped down with a jock strap. Mm -hmm. I say, let me out this shit. You gotta let me out this shit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hey, 
have a nice little outfit I want to go put on for you. You want something to drink? Why? Come back. See, I'm good. You got my arms a little tight, my little. It's all right. You don't need your arms. I really don't know what's going on with the women in my life. Like, just like out the blue, they just like crazy aggressive. First seen her, now I could deal. This may be something I can get used to. I'll be right back. I really don't know how I feel. Lay y'all tied up and stuff. I mean, the vulnerability is just way too much for me, but I'm pretty sure KD gonna make it worth my while. Kadia! Yes, baby? I think you got this too tight on my arms, man. I have been thinking about you all day today. Made a lot of special things. That looks things so good. Oh. For you. One nice strawberry. One more. <laughs> You got your shell in my mouth, though? I just wanted you to eat it. I was kind of a little off guard today at work. OK. Your baby mama number four came to my office, and she showed this to me. Does that look familiar? <laughs> you stuck toes now? No. Oh, my goodness. Use the nasty I should have known all this old extra, ooh, baby, I long day at work. I'm going to put something on you. Sex was not real. I mean, Cena could have just been like, you know what? I had your man. And then maybe I could have talked my way out of it. Nah. Video evidence? That's a setup. That's entrapment. Oh, she going to hear it from me. You better believe Cena going to hear it from me. That's if I can ever make it up out of here alive. You know what I'm saying? I'm like stuck. Michael Jackson. Katie, let me out of here. Turn this off and hook me so I can explain this to you. You want to do it, but you don't want to see it. But I didn't do nothing. You, you didn't. I mean, I did that. I didn't go all the way though, I, baby. Now. I think she put something in my drink. Ain't no way in hell Cena drugs you. If you really think I'm stupid enough to believe that, you got another thing coming. I got something for you, Jock. The night is young. What you doing with that? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. No, don't teach you. Because you embarrass me today. Hey. You allow her to come to my office hey, I promise. and embarrass I me at nothing. my place I didn't of know business. She was coming to your office, oh, baby. no, but you set it up. You let hey. it happen. Hey. Baby, come on, man. Quit For playing. Real? Stop. Are you serious? Was anybody there to tell you to stop? No. When you were sucking holy oh, ooh, girl. You know when was the last time me and you did strawberries and chocolate? You remember? No. I don't either. Point. I don't either. I went completely diary of a mad black woman on Jock's ass. I've been good to you. I've been so good to you. Yeah, please. Uh, I've been by your side. Can you please? Like since we've been together in this world that you've created. Okay. I'm sorry. Like you tricked me so good that I'm turned on by it. This is why I never want to be strapped down by no woman ever. Just don't kill me. What are you doing? You're not finna leave me. Yes, I am. Oh, you're not, oh, you're not finna oh, leave I'm me. I'm taking a break. I, 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 did not go, I did not go all the way with it. I left. You didn't go all the way with it. I didn't, baby. Just let me go. So you go where? Back to Cena house? No. Baby not. mama number four? Man, you'll never touch my damn lips again. It's a really sick little twisted little space in my head that's got me like, damn, Katie, this was the sexiest shit you ever did. You look a little thirsty. No, stop, Kadeel. <sighs> You know what? I still love you, though. When you get loose, call me. Maybe I'll answer. Stop playing. K! Man, hey, don't. Hey, OK. Don't walk out that door. Tonight is a really important night for me. So I got my baby life on my arm for the launch of my new record label, Red Entertainment. Hello, how you Thank doing? You. Thank you, you so much for That's coming. Nice. Tonight is also the launch of Cena and I's Guerrilla Warfare on KD. Cena wants the home record out of Jock's life. And all I want is to get KD back for all the mess she put me through when I was with Jock. And if that helps Cena, so be it. So I hatched a plan to get KD to this event so that me and Cena could get that ass. 
I know Katie Thirsty Ass was going to see Empire Records on the invite and not know that it had anything to do with me. Jock wasn't invited, and Katie only RSVP'd for one. So Cena and I <laughs> will have her all to ourselves. I am so glad that Carly decided to help me with my little payback. I can see what Jock saw in Carly. She's a pretty cool chick, and she's definitely not afraid to get a little bit messy. Wow. <laughs> Girl, Mickey is coming, honey. Does she know that it's your event? I don't know what she know, and guess what? I don't care. <laughs> I guess I didn't realize how mad I was until Cena popped up at my store, Mercy Boutique. So Cena gets her family back and I get revenge on the tramp. It's like a two for one sale. I want you and Jock to get back together, you know what I'm saying? I wish for my daughter's sake. I want that and I will help to get that. So tonight is for me, Cena, and to all the other women out there who's been hurt by some bitch trying to steal their man. Consider it an act of charity. She is gonna walk in here any minute and be like, I got an invite from Empire Records. I wanted to get out the house. This is the type of event I would normally attend with Jock. But this night, I'm going at it alone. I do appreciate the steps that he's taking to make things right, but it just may be a little too late. So for now, I'm single. I'm just gonna do me. I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out tonight. We have a joyous occasion here to celebrate the union between Carly Red Entertainment and Empire. Miss Carly Red, everybody give her a hand. I walk in the door and the first thing I hear is this is Empire Records, partner with Carly Red Entertainment, and then it gets worse. Baby mama number four, standing right next to Carly Red with this stupid ass look on her face. It takes me less than a second to put two and two together and realize that Carly put together the invite list. Now I can turn around and walk out the door, or I can stay face these two tricks, and really get this party popping. Hello. Hello, how are you? Doing well and yourself. Wow. Crady is here. <laughs> Hi, Piggy. Cosina, if this is Piggy to you, bitch, you don't belong in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm realizing now that I made a mistake of attending an event that Carly Red set me up to be at. And I'm looking at Carly Red and Cena all buddied up with these stupid smiles on their face. Watch out, ladies. I'm gonna wipe them stupid ass smiles off your face because I am not in the mood tonight. You walk right in just feisty. I have a some sassy crazy. ass part. It's like when you got kicked out of our dinner. That's soon, why you're faking pregnancies. No, baby mama number four is not standing here talking about a fake pregnancy. The only person she heard that from was Jock. So after I check her and her homegirl, I'ma check Jock to make sure he never talks about our personal business again. You try me. No, I'm talking. Oh, okay. You're okay. being, you try me. being a crazy girl yeah. as usual. Try me. You're being crazy as yeah. usual. Bitch, I'll you up. I lured Katie here so me and Cena can have some fun. But I really lured her here so she can hear these stories and see what type of man she's really dealing with. Katie is here to turn up. This bitch done snatched off her shoes, acting ratchet, about to ruin my event. But wait a minute, I'm realizing I got my man here, the execs here. Uh-uh, I need to figure out a way to calm this hoe down. You look a hot mess. Are you Falling out of your clothes. Both of y'all are You're twins. You're trying to suck your You're stomach 59 in. years old. Hey, what do you want to y'all got goddamn Even if we were, we look better than you. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to help you pay your goddamn gas bill, you Whoa. Oh, one dollar. Oh, my God. One dollar. Let them take me all out. Let them take me all out. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. She got one dollar. Don't put your hand Crazy girl. Don't put your hand in my face, crazy ass girl. Cena, I actually have something that I think you may want to clap back on because at the after party live, Jacques said that you set him up, and here's what he had to say. Cena, I really felt like she put some in my drink. You know, I was like, no, I want that, Cena. Because she was like, you don't drink. I was like, no, I'm good. Okay. See, y'all didn't see that though. All right, now, Cena, this is your chance to respond. Did you spike Jock Street? Do I really need to answer that question? Well, like, hell yeah. <laughs> There's no way I should have been sucking your toe on national TV <laughs> off one and a half drinks. That tells you that 
We have chemistry, so it takes nothing. She's for trying Doc to say to she put a chemistry, a uh, chemical, <laughs> in my drink. Katie, you pretended to work for Jock while you were really hooking up with him behind Carly's back. Exactly. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, well you I'm were. I'm not gonna agree to that. Really? Yes. Let me, let me yes. clear. Yes. This girl needs a storyline so bad she will say Honey, anything. Baby, let me tell you something. There's a tell reason me. No, why let me, I'm let me on tell you, couch no, right Don't now. try me, baby. I will okay. read it right But guess you, what? Right? You're sitting on the couch because of me. KD, let me ask you this. That part, bitch. Let's take, let's take Carly out of the equation. That fucking part. Don't play with Come me. On. Come on. Don't play with me. Come on. But KD, let me tell you something. What you don't know what is that know? every five seconds, Jock is always like, can I f you? He was just sitting on the stage just now. You gonna f me tonight? You gonna, and you damn, and you damn gonna lie. Carly. I got no. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. At the wedding, he was trying to get in the panties. At the wedding, he was trying to get with me. Ow! Yeah! 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 Oh my mama! No, no, no! Keep it one hundred. If that, if that was is the case, is this not true? You, you've if, never hit on her after you guys broke up. What? For what? Oh, yes, it is. It's like an earring. Oh, oh Steve J. Oh, Steve. Oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, earring. Hey, hey, hey! He did. Hey, he did it. Wait, wait, wait. You did it Keep in front of me and Steve. Keep it one hundred. Did you ever not once say, Carly, I want to? Did you say it, yes or no? I didn't hear it. Did this happen at your wedding? Did you say it? I would have said that. I would have had you that night. What did you say? I was at the wedding and I saw y'all dancing. So you guys. Yes, bitch. Yes. You saw me dance with Carly. Listen. I don't like that. Now if you sit here and if you gonna sit here like I just walk out of stage. I'm saying you guys are friendly. No. I walk out of stage because you lying. No. Everything come out your mouth is a lie. <laughs> Since Jock has told you, today. John no, had a sit down with you, and he said he was in an exclusive relationship with KD. Since he did that, have you slept with him? I can't stand a fing liar. Yes. yes. Is that true, Jock? No, she ain't even seen me. Jock, don't make me go there. He ain't nothing but a little thing. Don't make me go yeah, there, Jock. Okay, you know what? I did not expect this to go like this today. Oh, okay. So again, you're not looking for anything above and beyond. You're just saying, hey, this was the agreement. This is what this I is want. the original agreement. Do what this is what I need you to stick to. Today, me and my baby father are at the lawyer's office to discuss our child support issues. I slapped him with a contempt order, and now his lawyer wants to see if we can settle this outside of the court. But we keep having the same fight over and over. He's saying he doesn't owe anything, and I'm saying he does. Erica got the nerve to act like I don't take care of my daughter. You ain't even finna drag me in the mud like that, so I'm trying to put all this stuff behind me and not go through the little court system stuff because I don't want them folk all in my business. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Jared Caldwell. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Mr. Caldwell, I'm Natalie Rowland. Nice, nice to meet you. my client, Erica Dixon. How you doing, Dixon? Erica? Natalie Rowland. Obviously, the issues that we're raising are enforcement of child support. Well, we dispute that we owe child support, and we feel like we have the evidence to support that in okay. court. At the end of the day, my daughter is happy. She wants for nothing. But we came to a mutual agreement that she take care of her, I take care of her, and anytime she needs something, I give it. That's what I was rolling with. When she pop up, because she not happy one day and be like, oh, well, I'm going to try to be the boss and do stuff Never like had this. That type of we, had, we have had that. He, no, it's been two years since he hasn't paid child support. No, so no, that no, was no. before then. Do you count living, do you count being engaged and living and paying That's bills and all that? We weren't engaged then. She was like, no, you you staying in the same house. Why would you give me the money? So, you know so what I'm saying? Just so I'm clear, have you paid child support? No. For the last two years? We've already stated our position, which is that okay, so your client, my client doesn't owe He doesn't want to talk anymore. So my you're, client you're, does no, not owe your judgment. client. Do you smoke weed? Nah, stop that. If we request a drug test. Oh, yeah. I will definitely stand up and take that drug test. Perfect. I think we could pull countless videos of your client doing shameless things. I say go for it. I think, I think you need to bring your tone down. We're supposed to keep it at level of professionalism. You know things are bad. 
When the lawyers are arguing as hard as Scrappy and I do, I was really hoping that we can work through this, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. So it looks like we're going to court. Basically, you're asking me what I have done instead of saying what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, what are you gonna, gonna do? Gotta, gotta what are you gonna do? That's the question. What are you gonna do? You're not being aggressive at all. Relax. I know you're emotional. Cool. You're sensitive. No, you're emotional. Jerry, I'm ready to go. Cause we're not getting nowhere. Go ahead, do your thing, man. Run on up out of here like the road runner. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, baby. Soon as you take this thing to court, ain't none of us walking up out of there unless the judge say so. All right. Now, Scrappy, can I ask you, how did you fall so far behind in child support payments? I'm, I'm a full-time dad. I'm not no weekend dad, okay. okay? So when a mom come tell me, you take care of your money when she's with you, I take care of me. If I ever need something, I'll hit you. And one day, she come back and be like, uh, you need to be paying me $40,000. you be like, how is that possible? Now. I said, because my daughter stay with her and they've been living a certain kind of way, I'm going to keep giving $2,000 a month. Okay. This lady said she want $5,000. When did I ask you Wait, for $5,000? Hold on, hold on. going to be honest. Everybody in the crowd be honest. He did this. Scrappy said, you know what? I'm going to start paying you child support. I'm going to make sure I need to do financially what I need to do for E-Money. E-Money has braces. He conveniently missed that hey, appointment. That she didn't come even out tell me today. She didn't today. even tell me so it could be like that. I, Scrappy lies about everything. I even what? said, if you don't feel like you should pay the child support, I said, Scrappy, what do you feel like you should pay every month? It went from 500 to no, I'll just pay the insurance. I said, the insurance is $300. And well, since gave, you said, want insurance, he said, since you want insurance, I only want to pay 150. He had the whole 2013 to give me $150 a month. This couldn't do that. Okay, so hold that's on. That's it. That's all right, your mom is shaking right now. She's so listen, upset. Listen, okay. my son is the best dad. I wish the hell I had a daddy like my son, because maybe I've been a better person. Erica, do you think that Bambi distracts Scrappy from his daughter or paying child support? I don't care about her. She's irrelevant. I'm sorry. My concern I'm is Scrappy and what your, he needs to your do. Daughter's life exactly. and your daughter's exactly. life. Exactly. You're irrelevant so in you my life, sweetie. That's so a You need to be no, worried about what the Doing shut up, because I'm bouncing a check books, bitch. No, so if you want bitch, one, pay you his need child to holler at me. Pay him all you want, bitch. I'm paying. Come on, that shit gotta, gotta be on listen, me. Listen, she got a man. She got a man that plays football. Now, where 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 is your daughter when you were all out of town and all that? You she's feel with me? me. But you, she's you, with you. No, the now she's with you. She's with me. Do you doubt that she's a good mother? Hell yeah, you do. Hell yeah, I doubt it. Cause I hear from, I hear the real. I know the real. Scrappy. I'm a good let's mother. Be, like, please. Real. You a I'm gonna keep it real. He's a good, good father. Mama. I will Half never take that from him. Half he is a good father when he's with her. I don't give a what she say. Day, I don't care. Hey, if, you don't out. Man, if you don't want no baby, keep a condom on it. Cause you see what the hell going on. <laughs> you, you hear that? I made all mine though. Now you get a check. If it's a, hold oh, on, God. don't do that. If it's a baby mama, listen. <laughs> if you a baby mama, and I'm sorry uh -huh. that half of y'all baby daddies don't do for you. That That's ain't got right. nothing to do with me. That's the but truth. But when, when, if your baby daddy would take take you, put you on the show, and then let you live, your, go ahead, do your thing, so you ain't got to ask no man for nothing, and you still try to cover his neck, man, you. No, you. Man, man. Hey. Hey. Every day. Thank I you. take care of my daughter every All right. day. <laughs> Hey, man. Thank you. Oh, wow. Hark, I hear horns. The way those horns go, let's just say, they need beheading. But I don't care. My son is to my right hand. And my daughter, Jasmine, she's my bridesmaid. And when I look up, I see the man of my dreams. I'm about to remarry my king. Everything is right with the world. The hemisphere and the moons are revolving in order. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God to unite this man and this woman together in holy matrimony. If there be anyone here that has any justifiable cause 
why these two should not be lawfully joined together in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Who is it that gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. But hold on for a second. If I'm giving you my mom, make her a better person, I want her to always be happy. And most of all, I want her to stay out of my business. Okay? Amen, Dale. I love you, Melissa. Since Scrappy was crawling around in diapers, he's always pushed my last nerve. And today, he just pushed me to the limit. But in the end, I'm so grateful that both of my kids are here. Ernest D. Bryant, do you take Deborah Bryant to be your lawful and wedded wife? To death do you part? I do. Do you, Deborah, AKA Mama D. Bryant, take Ernest Bryant Jr. to be your true and lawful husband as long as you both shall live? I do. These rings represent the eternal love that these two plan to share together for the rest of their lives. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce them once again, husband and wife. Brother, you may kiss your bride. Oh, wow. wow. Thank you. I present to you, Mr. and Miss Bryant. Hey, it's your boy Bobby Lights, and gracias for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube channel so that you can keep up with the 305.